So tell me, how does it feel to be the head of the IT department? I thought it'd be so hard and I was scared at first, but it feels amazing. I have my own office. I can still walk to your department to see you for lunch. And the view girl is amazing. Oh my God, you deserve it and then some. I worked too hard for this. You know, the only person that didn't seem happy for me was Carter. Girl, Carter is creepy. He had sent me something I downloaded and my phone went haywire. But good thing I had a friend to fix it because my phone was going crazy. Me too. The file he emailed me was an e-congratulations and my startup phone started going crazy with the glitching. He said he fixed it, but I'm making a new phone soon anyway. Yes, girl. As head of IT, it's important that you do that because people will try to sabotage you to get into the company's information. You know what? You're right. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to my phone company and get a new VPN just to be on the safe side. I agree. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Starisha Mitchell. Yes? Who's this? Don't worry about who this is. You'll see thirty thousand dollars within the hour, or your nudes will be released to all your family, your friends, and your coworkers. What? Who is this? Star. Star. What's going on? How did you get these? What do you want from me? I want thirty thousand dollars transferred to my account within an hour. You know, I can sue you for revenge porn and distribution of lewd photos without my consent. Oh, you can try, but it'll just make your life worse. Good day. What's going on, Star? A man just called my phone in some fake auto-tune, and he just told me that if I don't send $30,000 to him within an hour, He's gonna release photos of me to everyone, including the office. Oh my God. This can't be happening to me right now. And after I get the promotion, I'll lose everything. Are you serious? Wait, let's think on this. $30,000 is very specific. Isn't that how much you got for the promotion? And your bonuses? Yeah, how do you know that? I'm an HR star. I'm supposed to know these things. You're right though. How else would they know about my bonus unless they worked with us? Oh my God. You don't think it's Carter, do you? <laughs> Carter is many things, but <laughs> why would he do this? Come on now, he's been with the company for 12 years. You've only been here three and you got the promotion over him? But my coding is way better than his. And I have the track record to prove it. Hey, I just got an email from Jenna in the IT department. You think it was Jenna? No, she said Carter had been harassing her and sending pictures of himself to her. Wait, in a screenshot, she said he offered her a trip, all paid expense? Wow. Is Carter serious? Before I moved to the HR department, there were so many complaints about Carter, but none of them went through. Do you think he's really blackmailing these women to send him money? That makes so much sense. You know, he really was the only one angry about my promotion. Was that someone else emailing about Carter? No, um, that wasn't. Let's just focus on this idiot. Hey, hey isn't that Matthew's number? Girl, knows he much? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you dating our CEO? Don't say nothing. We have kept this between us for a while now. Why wouldn't you tell me? Star, like I didn't want to jeopardize your um, position and I don't want you to think he was choosing favorites. I would never think that. Anyway, we need to think, of, we need to think about how we're going to get you out of this situation. Not my love life, Star. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Jenna just gave me new tracker software as part of last month's proposal. I just need to intercept the call. If I can prove that it's Carter, we can get him arrested at least. You know what? I'm gonna send out a mass email to the women who reported Carter. Maybe if we get a witness or evidence, we can send it to Matthew. Perfect. Thank you so much, Haley. I couldn't do this without you. Girl, of course. This jerk deserves everything that's coming to him.
Hello? I have the money. Good. Send it to the account I text you. And all will be well. Why are you doing this? Because you're a dirty girl. And I want my money. Your money? Why do you think you deserve what I've earned? Look, enough talking. Just do as I said. Did you get the location? Sure did. It was Carter. He's calling from the office on a burner phone. You know what? I'm calling Matthew, he can help us. Good. I'm gonna send him all the evidence that Carter has been blackmailing me. You should send him those emails as well. Girl, already done. Let's head to the office. Hello, Mr. Ruffield. Carter, uh, I need you to meet me in the conference room, please. Um, we don't have any meetings scheduled for today. Is everything okay? Now, Carter. Carter, you've been loyal to this company for 12 years. However, your behavior towards women and the head of the IT department is unacceptable. Sir, I have done absolutely nothing wrong. And that folder is proof of your misconduct towards multiple women in the office. You've been sending unwanted photos of yourself and blackmailing multiple employees out of their bonuses by hacking into their personal phones and using their personal photos against them. Sir, I have given 12 years to this company and you gave a rookie my job and I still stay. There is no excuse for what you've done. You're fired without pay. Also, a lawsuit has been filed against you by the women that you successfully stolen from. I will, of course, back them up on everything they decide to do. You can't do this. This job is my life. And besides, I don't have the money to pay back these women that I hurt. You better find it. People like you deserve everything they get. I would never jeopardize your job. I had plans on you and I to work together to make this company better. Yet you sabotage me and other women in this company for your own gain? <laughs> you disgust me. Security will escort you out with your belongings. You are banned from ever stepping foot on this property again. Your phones and your laptops have been confiscated since you used company codes and systems to blackmail these women. Please don't do this. Look, I'm so sorry. Look, I'll even work for free until all the debt's paid back. You can't do this. This job is my life. You should have thought about that before stealing from your own team. Blackmailing the new head of IT, knowing that her tracking and coding skills are better than your own? That's brave. We'll see you in court. 12 years. 12 years. We'll see you in court. Will we really get our money back? I mean, the courts take forever and he stole from my kids. I've waited long enough. I've already arranged for your payments to be sent back to you. Anything you get from the courts is gonna be extra. Okay. Happy holidays to all of you ladies. Um, I'm so sorry all of this happened. It will never, ever happen again in this company. Thank you, Mr. Rothfield. Your generosity will not go unnoticed. Yes, thank you, Mr. Rothfield. This is truly a holiday blessing. I mean, we just appreciate everything that you're doing for all the women in this company. No problem, ladies, but you'll have to excuse me. I have a meeting, but you can touch base with Haley and Star. The moral of the story is, never invade somebody's privacy for your own gain. You'll only lose in the end. Surround yourself with people who make sure you're doing well and actively support you through the worst of times.